Welcome back to episode two of the Jay Niles Road to the Show. If you don't know who Jay Niles is, go check out episode one. I explained it to that, and we left off where we were drafted, of course, by the Miami, Miami Marlins as we're playing for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. And let's hop into our first start against the Mississippi Braves as here in the bottom half of the first inning. We get the leadoff. Got to go chasing on the up-and-away fastball. He goes down swinging for Jay Niles' first career double-A strikeout. So then move on to the bottom half of the second. One, two, count. Still nobody on. First batter. He goes and chases the big sweeping curve. He goes down on strikes as well. Later on in the second, two outs, two, two, count. And once again, another big curveball gets the third batter in the inning to go down. Another one, two, three inning for Jay Niles. Move on to the bottom half of the third. Two outs, runner on second. Oh, two, count on this guy. He's going to chase the pitch into the dirt. And it's going to be a drop third strike toss over to first, and that'll be the end of that inning. Move on to the bottom half of the fourth now, where an up and in fastball is going to get this guy to go down swing, and he can't catch up to that. The high cheese gets him to go down. Move on to the bottom half of the fifth. Once again, people are still chasing that big curveball. Niles has got that working all day long in this start. So then bottom half of the sixth still. This time a runner on first. He gets a man to strike out. So now there's two outs with the runner on first. One, two, count to this next batter. And he's going to ground the curveball to the second base. Fire over to first. Nice scoop by the first baseman. And still no runs come across for Mississippi. Move on to the bottom half of the seventh where this big, tall, fat guy slaps one down the left field line. It's going to get into the corner where the left fielder is going to have some... Trouble getting to it rather quickly, and Stubby's going to get himself into second base with a double, and it'll knock Niles out of the game. So that'll end his first career start, his final line of the day. Six innings pitched, three hits given up, seven strikeouts, no walks, and no earned runs. Moving on to the second game of Jay Niles' career, his second career start, where he's facing the double-A affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds, the Chattanooga Lookouts. First batter of the game is going to ground one right back to Jay Niles. He'll field it himself, toss over to first. That's an easy-peasy play. So now we have two outs in the top half of the first inning, 2-2 two -two count on the three-hitter, and he is going to strike out on the up-and-in fastball, blows that right past him. The guy with the ginger beard, he goes down swinging. And now we move on to the top half of the second. Where he gets a man to chase on the big curveball. So he goes down swinging. Move on to the top half of the third now. Where we've got ourselves an interesting inning. 0-2 count on the first batter of the inning. He goes down on the running away. Also dropping changeup. He's early and can't get it. Just drops out from under his bat. He goes down swinging. Now second batter, 2-2 two -two count on him. He's going to go down another dropping changeup, so back-to-back -back strikeouts. Can he strike out the side? Third batter, 3-2 count on him. And he is going to go down swinging once again on a changeup. Three straight strikeouts, all on changeups. Now we move on to the top half of the fourth. 1-2 count on the first batter. He is going to go sw down swinging on yet another changeup. Four straight strikeouts on changeups for Jay Niles. But then the streak will be broken up on this 3-1 count on the next batter of the inning. As he is going to draw himself a walk. Cannot locate his fastball there to get a 3-2 count. And he gets on first base. That guy also has quite a bit of speed. So he ends up going and stealing second base with ease. So the lookouts have a runner on second base with one out. Niles got himself into a bit of a jam here. But he gets this guy to pop up into shallow left field. Holds the runner at second. He has to go retreat. So there's two outs now with a runner on second for Jay Niles to work with. Much more manageable of a situation. And with a 2-2 count, he gets the next batter to go down swinging on the up and in fastball. Blows it right past him. Still scoreless are the Chattanooga lookouts. Move on to the top half of the fifth where Jay Niles once again gets a guy to go down and chase the sweeping curve. He's got that and the changeup as a strikeout pitch working pretty darn well to start his double-A career. Later on the inning, there's a runner on first, but Jay Niles gets the man to go down, looking on the down and away perfectly pl placed fastball. So two ads now runner on first, and he gets a man to saw it off, ground out, and it's going to be over to the first baseman. He'll step on the bag himself, and at the end of five, or halfway through five, they are still scoreless. Moving on to the top half of the sixth, yet another strikeout on a big curveball, drop third strike. 
And that is going to be thrown over to first for the out. Top half of the seventh now. As this guy is going to go down swinging on the up and in fastball. He looked completely silly on that one. And now two outs now. Top half of the seventh. Still 1-2 count. 91st pitch of the game is another strikeout for Jay Niles. He was working it all day long. No runs through seven innings. That is his final line. Seven innings pitched, only one hit given up, 12 strikeouts, only one walk, and no earned runs. So let's move on to a little interview where Jay Niles gets a little visit from his pitching coach, and he just basically tells him he's pitching well, and Jay Niles answers with a cocky answer, of course, because he's Jay Niles. He's the raw dog. What else is he going to answer with? And then once again, he uh, answers with a pretty cocky uh Answer. Now we move on to our third start of the episode against the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. As there you see the batter in the bottom half of the first goes and chases the curveball for a strikeout. And then the number two hitter of the day is going to have a fastball 96 mile per hour on the gun, blow right past him up and in. He goes down swinging, and Jay Niles coming to the plate here. Top half of the second. Jay Niles with the runner on first. Hits one into shallow left center field, and it's going to bloop in between the left and center fielder, and Jay Niles has himself a single. So move on to the bottom half of the second now. Two outs. Jay Niles gets the curveball working. Not a huge break there, but just enough to get it under the guy's bat. Still scoreless are the Blue Wahoos. Jay Niles back to the plate again. He's one for one with a single on the day. And with a runner on first and second, two outs. He's going to rip one up the middle. Lands just into the outfield grass. And the runner on second is going to go second to home for an RBI single for Jay Niles. Attributing to his own cause there. So 5 nothing, a Jacksonville lead. As Niles gets another strikeout there. Another big breaking ball. Now... Bottom half of the third still. One out now. One, two, count. Gets a man to go down swinging on the up and in fastball. He is just running through hitters so far here early in his double-A career. Bottom half of the fourth. One out. There's a pitch that could have gotten jacked, but the guy could not catch up to it. So a little bit of an off placement there, but the speed pays off for Niles as he gets in the strikeout. Bottom half of the fifth. Another changeup strikeout. Gets that guy to go down looking on the perfectly placed pitch. And now we move on to the top half of the sixth for Jay Niles, third at bat of the game. What's it going to do this time? Just call him slap hitter Jay Niles. Slaps it over the head of the first baseman into right field. He's got himself a single. So bottom half of the sixth now. 0-2 counts. And he's going to be giving up a home run to Kirby Matsui. He's going to jack that line drive into the left field seats. And Kirby Matsui puts the Pensacola Blue Wahoos on the board. But they still have a lead. Jacksonville, that is. And then here, bottom half of the six. Two bats, runner on first. And it's a strikeout for Jay Niles. And that would be the end of his day. He gets through six innings. His final line is six innings pitched. Two, only two hits given up. Nine strikeouts. One walk. Only one earned run on that home run in the uh, in the sixth inning. And he was also three for three at the plate with two with three singles and even an RBI. So with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for the second episode of the J. Niles Road to the Show. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. See, I am Wonder Mike, and I like to say hello. I'm to the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, the purple, and yellow. But first, I gotta bang, bang, the boogie to the boogie, say up, jump, the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie, let's rock. You don't stop, rock the rhythm, and I'll make your body.